a student in uh, Springfield uh, Collegiate in uh, Oak Bank, Manitoba, and asked them how we can provide more support to Indigenous people in remote northern communities. And it's a great question because some of those communities are very isolated. So one of the big things we've committed to is building more all-weather roads. A lot of them, uh, a lot of those communities only have winter roads, and the season for winter roads is shrinking with the warming of uh, the temperature due to climate change. So we're building a very significant investment of about 110 million a year on the east side of Manitoba and the northern east side of Manitoba for um, all-weather roads. We're committed to uh, a new road uh, called Freedom Road for the people of Show Lake Band 40 that are very close to our water supply from Show Lake. And uh, we're working with communities to have dialysis closer to where they live, uh, make sure there's uh, uh, roads, uh, single all-weather roads, uh, make sure that we can have access to those communities so that they can get in and out, in and out for basic supplies in other parts of northern Manitoba. And uh, education, University College of the North now has about 13 local campuses in First Nations communities uh, that will allow young people to get a post-secondary education close to where they live. So, sure, uh, no more needs to be done. We're doing affordable food in the north and helping northern people with community gardens and uh, social enterprises that uh, allows them to raise chickens and turkey and, and vegetables and uh, be able to actually make it available at a very low cost to uh, members of their community and create jobs up there. So. It's a big challenge, but we're committed to following through on that and making sure that uh, everybody in Manitoba finds a way to meet their basic needs and have the opportunity to have a decent job and contribute back to their community. Thank you.